guys, what's up? LD Channel Lady here, and today I'm going to be building my dream house. Lizzie, are you sure you want to do that? Do you not want me to build it instead? Oh, Joel, you're so lovely and handsome and great. Everyone should subscribe to you. That is a great idea. Make sure to subscribe to Joel. Oh, Lizzie, you're too kind. So Lizzie sent me a message demanding I build her dream house in Minecraft. Th this is a lie. I, I was out of video ideas, and she's actually helping me out quite a lot. And here is a list of the things she wants this house to have. The foyer must have a giant aquarium in the middle of it. She wants a dining room with a huge feast on the table and banners hanging from the walls with a huge chair at the top of the table. Also a rainbow lounge. The house must have seven stories. Seven. There is a bedroom for each of her friends and a very creepy basement for her enchanting stuff. So obviously we have a lot of work to do, but where to begin? Well, first we have to find a biome suitable of fitting this seven story house. Oh dear. How about the boreal forest? Nope, too many trees. How about a regular forest? No, too many chickens. How about the ocean? That has a lot of space. But it's also hideous and boring and there's no land. I, ne I need land. How about the out- Where would I build a house? Snowy- No. Okay, well, how about the cherry blossom grove? Pink leaves. It's a sign. Yes, we will build our house here. Okay, so we have our biome, but now the question is, what should we start building first? I guess we should start at the top of the list with the giant aquarium entrance. But even before that, we had to quickly clear out some terrain and alter it a little bit as it looked pretty ugly. And then we got building that aquarium, which was a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be. I decided to make it circular. I actually used some chisel and bits to help it look circular. Added a load of fish in, but you're not seeing much of that because it didn't take long. What did take a while was building this house. Oh my gosh, I think I spent about two hours building a seven story house. Yes, seven stories. I don't know why Lizzie asked for seven stories. So specific, it's a lot of stories that it took a long time. And that's without decorating it. Two hours to build it without decorating it. There's lots of rooms in this thing because obviously you need to add lots of rooms when a house is this big. But I think I did a pretty good job of not making it like just a standard square house. I tried to have lots of different roofs and different interesting parts of the house. And I think I succeeded as you'll see here with all these different roofs coming in now. And I did like sort of this pink valentine block for the bottom layer of the house and the rest of it were these mahogany planks and then some pink terracotta shingles for the roof and I think all together the colours work really well with the rest of this biome. It does stand out quite a lot but that's what we want this house to do. We want it to be vibrant and beautiful. It's a bit hard to see but I also made a custom banister there. You'll see that in more detail later. And finally I added in some fairy lights around the outside of the house to make it look really pretty and cute and then I also added in some just trees and stuff to just fill out the area a little more. And here we are. It's just an empty shell of a house at the moment. There's nothing in any of the rooms. <sighs> I'm really not looking forward to filling them out as I hate decorating and this place has a lot of rooms as you can see by just the sheer size of it. It's like a fortress. There's just so many different like rooms and windows and stuff everywhere. It's ridiculous. But here's the layout briefly. In here we've got the fish tank which has got these fish swimming around it. I actually did a mod in and these guys are really cute. I got a little bit of coral at the bottom. There's three rooms on the bottom floor. We've got one over to the left here. A decent sized room, nothing massive. We've also got another one very similar on this side, also the same size. And then we've got one big room at the back here, which I think I'm going to do as the rainbow living room on this side and then the kitchen on this side. But to get upstairs, there's a staircase here and it will lead you up to this floor where we've got a room over on the right here. We'll also have a room on the left here. These can be one of the bedrooms. Over on the other side, we've got the same sort of thing. Although this side is a bit bigger as it extends out a little bit, but I know a few bedrooms there. And then we can head up another staircase. Yes, there's a lot. We've got a room over here. We've got a room over here and there's a room at the end on this side and also we've got the main bedroom which is through here and you've got a big room here with an ensuite and then you've got a balcony as well. This will be Lizzie's bedroom of course. And then you can head up the next staircase to this floor where I haven't laid out the rooms yet but you can kind of see lots of space up here for rooms and stuff as well. Another staircase. Lots more space for rooms, another staircase, a little bit less space, and then finally 
we've got the attic. And another thing we need to take into account for is Lizzie asked for a basement. So my thinking was one of these front rooms here could lead down to the basement, but we'll see as we get building, which is now. In fact, let's start with the basement, shall we? Now Lizzie wanted it to be creepy, but I kind of wanted to make it fit with the theme as well. So I made this sort of like purple, dingy, dark basement, which is not very well lit, but looks pretty evil and creepy. And then we got building the other rooms, starting with a small crafting room on the right hand side, on the other side of where the basement was. I also added in like a grand piano and a few little things in the central area. And then we moved on to the big dining table that Lizzie wanted with a feast on it. Plus she wanted her chair to be extra important. So I built her a chair using chisel and bits with bits of gold on it to make it look all fancy at the head of the table. And then I actually added a wall in and made a kitchen on the right hand side of this. Obviously Lizzie wouldn't use this kitchen. She'd have her chef prepare her food for her, like her Dr. Pepper, her KFC, whatever she wanted. And then right on the other end, we actually added in the rainbow lounge, which I actually made out of some rainbow colored seats, which look okay, they're not the best, but then I made a custom rainbow rug as well using some chisel and bits, plus added in a lot more rainbow stuff and just living room things. And then I made the library upstairs, which has got like a nice little room next to it where you can read and relax and read all of your many books. Now Lizzie wanted a bedroom for each of her friends. Unfortunately, there's quite a lot of them, but luckily we have a massive house. So we can start adding them in. And rather than time lapse in this part, I'm just gonna show you the bedrooms. This room here is purple and it is Yami's room. Look at that, very nice. Got a guitar, cause I think she plays bass. Pretty basic, isn't it Yami? Next up with the orange doors, we have Callum's room, who's got a very orange looking room and he's just chilling in here. He's just having a fun time. Just down the corner from Callum behind the purple doors, we have Ollie's room. He's got a very purple looking room. Some cute stuff in here. Very basic design, isn't it Ollie? He agrees. This is the color Razzle. I'm not joking, that's what it says. And this is Lauren's room right here. She's got a very nice little room, wardrobe, bed over there, very nice log bed, new nice little pattern on it. Down the other side of the corridor here, we've got the cyan doors and we have Scott in his room. He's got a basket of eggs, he's got his couch and he's got a bed and some dresses and stuff as well. So here is Lizzie's room. Of course, it's the biggest. We've got a day bed, we've got a vanity desk, we've got this really fancy bed, we've got a piece see with three screens, we've got wardrobes and drawers. We've got a fancy ensuite with a nice bath, nice sink, nice towels. And outside on the balcony, we have a jacuzzi, very lush. Now for the four other floors, which are up here. Oh, okay, we've still got so much we need to fill up. Let's get going. So up the stairs on the next floor, we have Joey's room up here. It's got a light blue theme. He's got like a wardrobe, a bed. He's here, of course, a heart. Not sure why, I just feel like he'd appreciate it. And opposite Joey, through the yellow doors here, we we have none other than Megan, AKA Strawberry17 herself. Chilling in her room here, very nice indeed. Next up, we don't actually have a bedroom, we have a games room. We've got a pool table and a table football table, plus a couple of chairs, just a chill room, you know? And finally on this floor, right at the top of the stairs, we just got another bathroom because we need more bathrooms. One per floor is pretty good. So up the staircase on our next floor, we have Cupquake's room. Very simple, again. And there's a few more rooms as well, but Let's just get Lizzie in here and show her the house and see if she has any comments about anything. So Lizzie, you demanded I built you a dream house, correct? No, you asked me to tell you what my dream house was. You demanded I list the things in my dream house. True, true, okay. Well, are you ready to see it nonetheless? Yes. Okay, if you wanna smash through that wall like the Hulk. Hulk smash! Nice, oh careful with the grass. <gasps> Here it is. Ooh, it's so pink. Yeah, well, it is designed for you, your dream house. I presume it'd be wow, pink. Wow, even the water's pink. Yeah. You gave me a list of things you would like to see, one of them being seven stories. Uh, if you fly up, you can see that there are seven stories. You'll have to count them. Can confirm, seven stories. Okay, so that's one thing checked off your list. Good. Good, and then inside we go. Oh my gosh, everything is pink. Wow, okay, my aquarium. Wait, where have all the fish gone? Missing a few fish. Oh, my fish. They're back. Yeah, they've just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, cute. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, my gosh. Ignore this one flapping over here. It's... Oh, no. One of them escaped. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He survived a little bit longer. Wait, let's just put oh, him out of his misery. Him. No. 
I got him. He's in a bucket. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, good. Here's your fish. There you go. So there's your fish tank. I went for like a little central thing. You can walk around it all, like you said. Yep, that was my requirement because yeah. I need to see the fish from every angle. <gasps> a vending machine! Yeah, I thought you'd like that. You can get whatever you cool. want. Sacks all the time. People come in and refill that for you. And then wow. over here as well, we've got your little crafting area. Pretty standard, okay, nothing too yeah. interesting, yeah. That is nice. I won't lie, the paintings are a bit ugly. They don't really fit with my pink theme. They're authentic what? Minecraft paintings. I thought, you know, they're just, they're OG. I hate authentic Minecraft paintings. Okay. Well, if we'd like to go down to the basement now. Oh, the basement already, okay. You asked for a creepy basement. <gasps> Yes, this is perfect. It's so dark. Okay, a little too creepy. You uh, wanted lots it of creepy. bodies. I yeah. said creepy, not criminal. They're not real dead bodies. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's fine then. This was a coffin. Is that my coffin? Am I just keeping it here? Uh, that's the vampire it? who lives here. He occasionally what? walks by, um, comes up, but he's sleeping right now because it's daytime. Obviously. I hope he pays rent. He does. He does. He actually pays quite a good amount because he brings back people and kills them. Those are dead, fake bodies. Not Wait. real. Definitely mm. fake. Definitely fake. Don't worry about them. Don't look at them closely. Uh, so over here, we can go through to the lounge, which you requested to be a rainbow <gasps> color. I did. I forgot about that. And it is indeed very rainbow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of wow. rainbow. You've got a custom rug here. I like the couch. I think we need one of these in real life. I don't think we do, to be honest, because it's I very bright. Oh, what are you doing? Traveling. <laughs> it's like what Buddy does. Cuckoo clock. Yeah. Cool. Through here, you've got your dining table you requested. I did request a dining hall. And this is my chair? Yeah, this is your chair. The biggest it's on the table, of course. It's got a cushion on that says LD. I've got a burger and chips. <laughs> yeah, and a Coke. Oh my gosh. Yeah, custom LD what banners. Is it? It's a cat on there. Oh, then cute. Yeah, it's not that cute. It was, I was struggling with it, I'm not going to lie. This is exactly what I wanted. Good. You, you head of your table, looking very nice. Where do you sit? Oh, I sit here. I'm just just kidding. Peasants. You sit in the kitchen, making the food. Speaking of which, the kitchen is right here. Obviously, you would never use this because you have a chef, which is me. I have a chef. Yeah, the, me and it's a few others. You? We have like a cooking team, and they've got we prepare all the food in here for you while you sit and wait, or you can be in your lounge chilling. Wow, you know? looks like my, my chef's working on some carrots at the moment. Yeah, well, you you're a big fan of carrots. They'll be cooked. No, not I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a couple of ways upstairs. There's a staircase over this side and a staircase for that side, and it brings you out to nice little landing up here. Oh, I like this. And what's in these rooms? A library in here. My library. Lots of different books and stuff in here. And then this is a little reading area. Very <gasps> chill by the fire. Ew. I like the style in here. Read and hide away. Yeah, exactly. Got a lot of books, haven't I? Wow. Yeah. I'm a well-read toucan. Toucan. And here's a bathroom. Oh, perfect. Almost forgot that yeah. these were required this in the house. A, a guest bathroom. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. And then this is <laughs> your first friend bedroom. This is Yami's bedroom. <gasps> oh, oh, and Yami's here. Hi, Yami. I won't get in your bed because that would be weird. Yeah, but she's got like she's a got little a guitar, desk. gaming setup. Yeah. That's cute. Very nice. Whoa. Looking in her wardrobe, I see. So that's the first floor complete. Let's move on to the second floor, which is actually the third story. Ollie's bedroom. Oh, I, I wondered who it was going to be when I saw the purple door, and I would not have guessed Ollie. But he used to have a very purple theme, so I thought, you he know, does whatever. Love purple. Yeah. Oh, his wardrobe's even cuter. Look at this. It's got like little bunny slippers little bunny in there slippers. and stuff. Very cute, very cute. Ah, uh, and his filing cabinets. Yep. Full of. Files. Files. Yes, yes, yes. Down the corridor even more, we got Callum's room. He's got like a big Very window orange. in his room. Yeah, okay. orange, yeah. He's got a great view. Yeah, look at that, out into the world. We should play hide and seek here. People get lost. This is Scott's room. I should have known from all the teal. Got all these like beds and stuff. He's got his basket of eggs over here, which he loves. What? Yeah, a basket of eggs. Why do you have a basket of eggs, Leave Scott? Him Tell alone. me. Leave him alone. Okay, let me see if I can guess who it is by looking at the color of the door. Lauren. Yeah, you got it right. There she is. Yeah. Got very oh, galaxy cute. Got some sun, stars. Yeah, she's got a wardrobe as stars. well. Good job, Lauren. Nicely decorated. And then next up, this is just a little chest room again. <laughs> Why are these chests so weird? Oh, this could be the linen closet. Yeah, this can be the linen closet because it's right next to your bedroom, Lizzie. Oh, I forgot I would need a bedroom. You got the best PC set up as well. You got three monitors. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Your bedroom, the only one that comes with an ensuite. <gasps> 
I love this bath! Yeah, it's very cute. Oh, oh you're God. in it. What a scenic view from outside. I love this. This is my favourite room. And then, of course, you've got a balcony as well because this is the main bedroom. Whoa, and a hot tub. And a hot tub. Look at that. In oh, the hot tub. Oh. Whoa, you're inside me. Oops. Wow, this is amazing. This yeah. is such a nice view. It's good, isn't it? You can see out. I'm sad that it's not real. <laughs> yes, we still have three more floors to go. Here's just another bathroom for this floor. Pretty standard. Yellow, who is it? Wait, okay. Um, Yellow. Joey? No. Megan! Yeah. I should have known. So she's got a very yellow bedroom. Is yellow her favourite colour? I don't know. Opposite though, who's this? Light blue? Joey? Yes. Oh, Joey. Is. But his hair's brown. Yeah, but he's got a light blue cap on. I had no idea Joey played the harp. Yeah, he's so. a big harp player. Wow. Um, yeah. This is just a games room. Ooh, got a pool I like table it. table in here and a little table football table. Very nice. Another staircase. Yes, this place keeps going on and on. And then we got a coral room. Who's this? Stacy. I forgot about Stacy. It's Tiff. It's oh, Tiff. you forgot about Stacy? Stacy doesn't have a room? I'm so sorry, Stacy. Yeah. I forgot about her. Maybe she can share with Stacy. Yeah, maybe she will. And then here is Mary's room. <laughs> you made a room for the dog, yeah, but you well, forgot Stacy. <laughs> we got lots of rooms. I forgot Stacy. Stacy can stay with Mary. She loves dogs. There should be like little bits of fluff everywhere. Yeah. And then on to the next floor, which the is. The final floor. No, one more after this, which is okay. Buddy's entire room. Ooh, he's got a jukebox because, you know, he's got great taste in music. And he's got a cat clock which moves. I love the cat clock. This is adorable. I love it. I need it. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, right. So lots of cat clocks everywhere. I love it so much. Oh, I don't like it. There's too many. Why has Buddy got a Nintendo Switch? Oh, he just loves them. Loves Nintendo Switches? Yeah, he loves them. I had no idea. And then upstairs we just got the music room which is just for when we start our band. What do I play? I'll sit on the drums. What do you, what do you want to play? Anything? There's no triangle. Oh dear. Well, you can just, you can be the audience. This is actually your your oh. private band. We come and play here and you just stand here and you watch. Why don't I have a chair? Oh, because you you jump up and down in excitement because oh, you're dancing. Okay. What if they get tired from all the jumping up and down from obvious excitement? Just lie down. What if I jump oh. up to here? Well, oh my be goodness. Careful, Lizzie. Well, there you have it. There's all seven stories of your house. I mean, honestly, actually, it's kind of too many stairs can you take a few of this few of the stories away well i was gonna ask you is there anything you would change about the house lizzie yeah i think maybe just like two stories would be better two stories are you kidding me you wouldn't have a bedroom yeah no i love it it's perfect okay all right i can take off a few top stories if you if they're a bit too much no okay then my friends wouldn't have bedrooms you have to employ some people to come have a look at it I already have a chef. Oh yeah, that's true, that's me. You'll notice I don't have a bedroom, I just sleep on the floor <laughs> in the kitchen. So there you have it guys, I attempted to build Lizzie's dream house. Maybe in the future I won't build it with so many stories, even though she requested seven stories. I'll try my best to make it seven stories spread out, which is a very long house. But thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like and comment, go check out Lizzie's channel and also subscribe to mine if you haven't already. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.